In this video, we are going to talk about five core reasons due to which you are not able to get your first automation PLC, DCS and SCADA job. Before we start today's video, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel, turn your notification on if you don't want to miss our future content related to PLCs, DCS, SCADA and HMI. Number one thing on the list is lack of experience. As a fresh engineer, it sounds very bad that somebody asking them about experience. Now as a fresher, how you can get an experience, I have already conversation about that, that if you try to get an internship or training engineer opportunity, work without a pay and gain experience. This is the core thing. Or you try to get an industrial projects that can help you to get a good role because if you have a highlights of your projects on your CV, that might be helpful for you to hunt a job. Otherwise, people right now, other companies right now are not looking for those candidates who don't have a real experience. Because think about this, right now economy worldwide is very, very bad. Every country is suffering. How company can hire someone where companies have to spend money on training employees? That's why if the people are getting a train employees already, then they would never ever prefer a fresher. That's why you need to put up effort over there to find some experience. Like I said before, try internship, try to do some free works as well to gain experience. Once you have experience, no need to work free of cost. Second and very important thing is insufficient education or certifications. If you don't have a qualifications, right qualifications that make you eligible to get a job, this is one of the key impact that can be very, very bad for you to hunt a job. Because if you don't have right qualification, right education, you cannot think about that to hunt a job, right? So that's why you need to have a right qualification to get a job. This is one of the key thing. If you do have a qualification, another very important thing is certifications. Because Certifications are unique and very, very important way for you to get a job because right now companies are preferring those people who have a certifications because certifications emphasizes on skills, not on to the, just the degree paper. So that's why people are right now looking for those people who have a right certifications as well. So if you are trying to get a job in automation field, you try to get in some trainings uh, related to PLCs, DCS, KEDA and HMI. You try to do some certifications also in related to industrial IoT, cybersecurity and even SCADA, PLC. That would definitely going to help you. Yeah, that's really one, one of the things that can help you. Try to have a mentor that can help you because if you have a right person surrounding you, this is the best way. Like for instance, if you know some of the friend or you have some friend working in the companies related to automation, if you have some of the senior who's working in the automation field, you try to get in touch with that person. Try to gain an experience from them. Try to ask the questions, what's going on? Try to help him to his to do his job and give you know your services free of cost to gain an experience this is one of the key thing that can help you to gain a right experience and get into the automation field another very important thing is communication i have said many a times that if you don't know how to convey your message probably you're not going to get a job because right now in companies if you don't have a communication skills no matter how now how much you know for sure if you don't have a right communication skills, it's not going to be helpful for you to have a good job. That's why employers nowadays looking for those people who know how to effectively communicate, where to use high pitches and low pitches, where you need to stress on, uh, you know, your language properly, sounds game, you know, like this is very important. <coughs> Pardon me, right now my condition is not that good. I still have a temperature. You might not be, like you can see my eyes probably. Um, there's, there's uh, you know, like some sort of water you can see, tears. This is due to allergy, severe allergy, severe throat infection, severe temperature right now. But I thought it's been a long time. I need to talk to you guys to help you somewhere around. And believe me, this is the key thing. If you are getting some value out of it, 
I, that's that's one of the thing. Like even if I don't live anymore every year in this world, and uh, sometimes I think like everybody have to die, right? So if whenever I would be you know into another world, this this work would be there. That would be you know help for many people. So this is another very important thing. If you try to help people, you will get in reward as well, a success that you ever never ever imagined this is one of the key thing that i have applied so that's one of the thing <coughs> sorry sorry i cannot cut this this would be very rough today i will not be having many editing uh, editing uh, today because i would be right away making this content for you guys which lack of technical knowledge is another aspect is one of the key thing that can hurt your job hunting process as well so you need to be technically sound in order to get a job that's one of the key thing more nowadays employers are looking for. You have to emphasize on technical knowledge as well. <coughs> Another very important thing. Without that, nothing is possible. That's your passion. If you don't know some of the topics, it's obvious. It's fine. For most of the interviews I have conducted, I've seen pe people who are passionate and as compared to those people who are our clever and they know a lot of information, but they're not passionate. If you're willing to learn, if you show your willingness to learn and you try to, you know, convey the message properly and you show your eagerness to, you show your attitude towards learning, that can be a big help as well. So if you're passionate in this field, for sure, um, you know, companies will definitely entertain you very well. They will try to, you know, people are looking for, our companies are looking for those people who are passionate as compared to those people who are overconfident. So, yeah, these are the core things, that five things that can definitely help you um, if you avoid these points and you try to take care about these five things. For sure, you're going to be getting a very good role if you take care about these five points. So that's all for today. If you like this video, consider hitting the like button. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Until next video, take care and bye-bye.